Do you want to know how I'm having fun right now? I'm not. I'm just a really good actor. But not everybody can act like me. Maybe others can try, but only I know what it's like to be me. So I'm out here today talking about these things that I feel like talking about because of one man in particular, and he knows who he is, who enjoys these videos who gave me the idea to make these videos and made me realize that there are people on this planet that could benefit from the bits of completely displaced, disconnected pieces of knowledge that float around in my head completely disorganized. So. Because of him, this is for you. I decided in these few moments that I will only take a drink of my tea whenever I feel like I've said something meaningful. For a while, I thought, oh, I can't be out here doing this. This is something everybody else does. So many hundreds, 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 thousands, thousands, maybe, maybe more. Maybe less. I don't know. And I'm not really that interested. But I do know that there are at least hundreds of other people on this platform uh, pointing their face at the camera, talking about whatever. A lot of times, talking about stuff that don't even matter. Oh, wait a minute. That's what I'm doing. So I would be completely appalled to be doing such a thing that so many other people do because they saw somebody else doing it and they said, oh, I want to do something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't really like seeing that. It makes me sick for some reason. Um, I could think about it some more, but really I tend to think about things I like to think about and I don't like to think about how hundreds of people stick their face in a camera just like I'm doing right here doing the same thing that everybody else does and then I realized I'm not everybody else and then I thought some more when people say women or when people say men hmm now that is very very interesting to me indeed oh it is I don't think that is politically correct you cannot say women you cannot say Man, you can say, now that is a man over there, and that is a man over there, and that is a woman, and that is a whoa man, that's a woman right there. But you can't say that's women, you can't say that's men, because we, a person, one individual, which is what I am, a single man who happens to be not single, but I am one. Man, I am not plural. I am not plural men. I am not men. I am a man. I am one man. And as one man, I have only known what it is like to grow up in this one man's body, to play around with my man's genitals, with me, my man's. I am, this body is my man. This is who my man is, is this body right here. But I'm not going to live in this fucking body forever. And I praise and pray that I don't, you know, because, uh, you know, I don't know what would happen at that point, you know, maybe everybody just fucking die on the planet, and I'd be the only one left, and I'd be, like, all bored and shit, you know, just be sitting there making amazing, wonderful art pieces with only myself in them, and, uh, nobody else would get to see them until an alien species came down and, and observed what I'd created, and then gave me riches and gold, which would do me absolutely no fucking good, because what I'd want is human interaction, which is actually why I don't smoke of the weeds no more. I don't smoke of the weeds no more, because I can't communicate with people when I do. Like, got wonderful things going on in here, wonderful, amazing, that I just love, 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 
most of the time I have a hard time writing them down. I can't write them down quick enough before I get another idea. I think that may be because I do not meditate and calm my mind, relax, let the ideas come, let the ideas go, so that I can let these processes that are normally quickened throughout the day slow to a manageable pace. And then maybe I can look you in the face and I can say something that actually makes sense. I am one man, and as one man, the Corvin H. Lord Hayes. I only know what it's like to grow up in this body. I don't know what it's like to grow up in many bodies because, you know, I'm not many people. You know, I may be connected with everything just like you are. And just like all these other plants are getting to watch us act like fucking fools. That's alright though. Because they're completely content not acting like a fucking fool. And we, as people, us men and women, are completely content acting like fucking freakazoids up until the point we finally realize that we don't have to act like freaks just so that somebody will pay attention to us and give us a little bit of attention and rub their hand across our cheek and pat us on the head and squeeze our ass in a way that we appreciate. Yeah. So I realized that I am not another person doing the same damn thing and neither is anyone else even though you can totally tell that is what they're trying to do they're trying to be like everybody else now there's somebody somebody i appreciate and uh this lady does not appear to be trying to do anything like anybody else anna akana now she doesn't seem like she's trying to do anything like anybody else now, um, there's some other people, people that I will not mention the names of because I don't appreciate them as much as I appreciate Anna O'Connor. Now, that is a talented woman, and I appreciate what she does, and I feel it in my heart, and it gives me the tickles to see her feeling good, and I love it. Love it. I'm definitely not just another man out here doing something that men do. No, I don't think so. That's not what I feel, uh-uh. And uh, as long as I've been living, nobody has ever accepted me as part of something they do, unless they see what I am and feel and they say whoa there's something about that guy he's got the look he's got the feel there's something about him that we need in what we're working on and I feel kind of like I'm being used you know but that's all right sometimes I like to be but isn't that interesting when I'm using you, who's using me to get what you want, but I'm using you, who's using me, so that I can feel good, because sometimes I like to be used in that way. Hmm. Do you feel used? I put these things up here so that you'd see them. I almost wasn't going to, but the deal had already been struck. My beautiful friend, who is a man, and Anna Connor talked about kissing a friend who is a man who the lips of touching that man on the forehead would do because they just fucking love each other like they're the best of friends. But not in a way like, hey, I want some of that dick. Which is, you know, seems completely not romantic at all, you know. Like, uh, just like saying, hey, give me some of that booty. I mean, like, what the fuck is that? Is that supposed to be romantic? Is that supposed to feel good? Come on, I want more than a little shape. I want somebody that's got something going on in here, you know. Not to say that there's not something going on in there, but to say that some people don't cultivate that beautiful garden they have in their mind. And they don't. 
let it wither away and crisp and die and flutter away in the wind. And it's beautiful to see that too. Because then something else sprouts up from that. Because somebody saw that poor person fucking die. And they said, damn, you know what? I'm not going to live like that. I'm going to take that. I'm going to use that image of that poor fucking person. And I'm going to live better. If only, at least, to honor that person who could have had everything they wanted. And they let it go. I'm going to live my life the way I want to because I know, baby, I'm going to fucking die one day. And I'd rather it be that way. Yeah. Who knows, but maybe my friend wouldn't want me to kiss him on the forehead. And you know what? That's alright. Because, you know, I don't just have a serious desire to do that. You know, but also the idea doesn't make me want to vomit. And it doesn't make my dick shrivel up on the inside. Because, not that it's on the inside... It's on the outside, but not that it would make my dick shrivel, because my wang gets hard for other things, like the ladies, those shapes and the way they move, and I don't know what the fuck it is about it, about the way the flesh moves on top of bone and muscle, what in the fuck? I don't understand it. It's like I'm, it's like, it's like I'm being enchanted. It's like I'm being fucking possessed, is what it feels like. And there's nothing I can do about it. And I'm just saying, oh God, let's go ahead with this. Whoa, this is fucking incredible, man. Like I got something pulling me along and there's nothing I can do about it. And I can say, I can say, no, please, God, don't. But that lady's got a hold of me, and there's nothing I can do about it. On another matter, whenever there's something in my vicinity that can put you in a state of elation or bliss, you know, uh, something that you can ingest, and there it sits, it lay right there, staring right at me. Maybe I'm staring at it. And I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, I could just take a little bit. I can have just a little. I can sip just a touch. And it'll be so nice. Oh, but it ain't no little bit. Never, it never is. No, it's not. Today it was. But even today, it was too much. And that is the case with moi is too much is always too much is too much just enough is always too much for me it's always too fucking much and I want to stay away because anytime I get in there and it's good at first oh man and then it goes along and it goes along and I'm like and I don't feel good anymore Above that, this wonderful energy that comes out of me all the time, it's gone. It's not there anymore. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they talk about them problems they got on this little platform that they like to use and abuse. I will not abuse this because I am not a jackass. Somebody says... Well, if you're a jackass, you don't have to say... If you're not a jackass, you don't have to say that you're not a jackass because you feel confident knowing that you're not. I think about the way some people think about how sometimes they like to think that people aren't jackasses even though they're not. Really, the only reason I brought it up is I think it's interesting. But sometimes the things I think are interesting lead absolutely nowhere. And by the time I come out of it, I'm like, what in the world was I doing? Because I don't have anything meaningful 
of what I just went through to hang on to and go, wow, you know what, that was just, that was just fucking great. I don't have nothing like that. It is just one little piece, one little moment that had fluttered away into the wind and it is gone and it won't come back. And I have nothing to remember it by. Do you know how many moments I've had in my life like that? A lot. Like, woo, way, 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 way more millions of moments in my life like that that I can't even remember. Precious gems that are gone forever that I don't even care to think about anymore because I've already run through them and it's already over with. But they were great when I thought about them and they're all gone. Millions, millions, millions of those moments gone that I can't remember. Way more than any bad moments in my life. You know? And I thought about this. I don't know of any other guys, oh, of any other guy that stands out under a street lamp light and talks to the camera with all these nice shapes and angle. And you know something interesting? I was inspired by a person named Kimberly um, a long time ago because of her artwork and her photographs she took. I was inspired by this person, this woman to start doing things of my own, creating, again, inspired me to create, to draw again. It had been many, 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 many years since I had drawn anything on purpose, you know, with a reason, and this woman inspired me to do so, inspired me to take photos, and I did, and the first thing I did, one of the first photos I remember coming out here, taking a picture, taking it to the photo process or whatever, and changing the color a little bit. Those delightful shapes on my face made from the light and my wonderful bone structure. Ah! And it was great. And really, you know, I don't know anybody that is quite, you know, let's say, loose as me. I wouldn't say strange. Strange is a horrible misrepresentation of its self, of its own word, of the own word strange. The word strange is strange. Because I don't know what the hell strange is supposed to mean, except that you know one thing and then wow all of a sudden something's new and it's different and you go wow that's strange because you weren't used to something new possibly happening the idea of the word strange is strange but I know I'm not strange now if somebody came along and they liked to pick their nose with their teeth now that would be a little strange because I'm not used to something like that but, you know, that's like a relative sort of thing, you know. But I am not strange, whatever that's supposed to mean. People are not strange, except to say that one person is not used to seeing somebody act in a different way. So I'm not strange. But I have never known anybody as loose as me, you know. like a, It's like I won't stay put, you know. Um, it's like I want to stand out because I know I do stand out. But I don't have to want to stand out because I already do. You know? <laughs> so, I don't have to try. I don't have to tell people to stand out. You should just focus on what it is you want, what you like. But I will say this, if what you want and what you like gets in the way of what someone else wants or likes, and if you can't replace what they want or like with something that they want or like even more, 
And you better stay far the fuck away. Because you're going to get yourself hurt. And uh, I've already been there. And I've gotten hurt. Oh, baby. Pretty bad. Why am I proud about that? I don't know. I think it's just because I've never known anybody like me to have gone through something like I did, something like I have, and to stand so tall. I'm proud. Actually, it's like this. I have known people looser than me. People that can't even sit still at all. I've met many people like that. To me, I am very unique because I've never met anybody that was as loose as me while still being able to set foot and stay put in the way that I can to latch on to something, hold on, but not in a way that gets everybody hurt. There are people that are so loose that they will latch on to something and they will latch on for dear life and they will ride it out to the end and by the time they get there they turn around and everybody they fucking love that loves them is screaming at them because they won't stop. And that is what drugs do to a lot of people. Oh man, it's talking about them drugs. I ain't used to this shit. That's strange. Anyway, drugs can do that to people very easily. And it happened to me. And if you don't know what drugs are like when they interact with you, it could happen to you. Oh, I know it's not going to happen to me because I'm fucking smart. And I know how to do my stuff right. Well, except until you get that wonderful, nice elation and bliss running through you, and damn, you just feel good and feel like doing things you never thought you could, woo! You are going to act a little bit different than you normally do, and you will be thinking a little bit different than you normally do. And that's dangerous. At least I think it is. Because, baby, I was dangerous. Maybe I just feel so proud because I came back. I'm here now. I'm back. Baby, I'm back. I'm home. I left. I went on a journey. I went far the fuck out there. And I got lost. And somebody had to send a ship out into space to come in and get my ass. And it was my mom, it was my brother, it was my sister, and it was my wife. And once in a while, it was actually my brother-in-law. And um, they saved me. Yep. They did, and I'm here, and I don't think I'm going anywhere. Except to bigger, better, greater new things that I've never done before. Safely. Because now I know how to work with my mind. And um, a good way to start is to find a nice, comfortable place. It really doesn't matter if there's a lot going on or not. But as long as you know you're safe and that something's not going to fall on you or that nobody's going to bump into you, as long as you know that, you can sit there on something soft maybe cross-legged, don't sit cross-legged for too long, you gotta get to walking around because you can get blood clots that way. That's why if you go riding plane on airplanes a lot, they tell you you need to get up and walk around because uh, you don't want to get no blood clots. So, you know, but, uh, you know, 
blood clots are also a bigger problem if you, you know, eat things with cholesterol in it. Because, you know, your body makes all the cholesterol you need. So, you know, you might just be fucked. And a lot of people are. And there's not anything you can do about that when you already are fucked. So, you know, you can, you can prolong the little bit of life that you have left. You know, I'd like to spend time with my niece, with my aunt, with my grandmother, with my father, with my mother, with my wife. You know, instead of eating this fucking cheeseburger, you know. You know, uh, I don't understand how anybody smokes, you know. I don't understand that shit, because, you know, maybe there are runners out there that smoke, but god damn it, I love to run. And, uh, when I smoke, I don't want to fucking run. You know, even though I'd like to. Oh, I'd like to be doing this thing that I wish I could, but I can't because I do this other thing that I love to do, and I can't stop doing that because I love it too much even though I want to be doing this other thing so bad. Oh, my life is terrible. So, thank fuck. Thank the woods. Thank the grass. Thank the sky and the sun and the ocean and the trees that I got too perfectly healthy legs to walk and stand on, that I got two amazing hands to build and create things that you and I have never seen, two beautiful blue eyes to look at you, and for you to see me looking, in a nice tongue and voice to let you know what I think of you. Good night. The Corvin H. Lord Hayes.